following is a technical analysis on Uber and Airbnb. Starting off with Uber Technologies here, a company of the technology sector and software application here off the daily interval. Well, we had some big headlines uh, rock the technology gig workers where the argument about whether California's Prop 22 follows the rules of the Constitution is still ongoing. The highest court in the state, the California Supreme Court, has decided to look into the conflicting judgments made by lower courts, whereas these judgments are related to whether gig workers uh, should be exempted from the law, Assembly Bill 5, AB 5, which determines their status as independent contractors. Well, today, the California Supreme Court announced that it will examine the appeal made by a group of gig worker defendants in the case, and boom, we ended up snapping this primary reactionary hidden uptrend line off the mid-April reactionary lows. Uh, a few little gaps, little gaps in between, but again, just a, a plethora of reactionary lows across the board here. And uh, we put in a potential sell signal. I would call it a, uh, what you would call an aggressive short trade setup, depending on uh, on the decision made through this assembly bill. Whereas uh, it, it would have been nicer to have that clean, solid close where we did uh, technically have a, a little bit of a bounce here off some, uh, which you would call minor support. But again, just provides a, uh, a, again, uh, maybe a lighter position, short trade setup uh, on a potential, even a, on a back test, uh, four per, four, on a 4% uh, move to the upside, which would offer an objective entry short trade setup for a nice clean risk reward ratio down to the 39.41 price support, coinciding with the 50 exponential moving average there for a 10.7% crash, down to 37.36 for a 15.4% crash, to 34.91 for a 21% crash, and then ultimately on a complete backfill the gap if things start to get really bad with the decision of the Supreme Court there, to down to 32.80 price support for a 26% crash, which will co correlate and coincide with the 200-day uh, moving average there, and then ultimately a uh, potential revisit of that trend line. If that level goes, I would only suspect a pretty a big wave of selling to be met there, which would uh, conclude down to a 30 for 31.3 percent crash we have uh, a confirmed divergent high rising bearish fall uh, rising bearish wedge pattern uh, nice clean uh, confirmed now negative and bearish divergences amongst all three technical momentum indicators with confirmed crossovers on the moving average convergence and oscillator on a potential retest back test of zero line thresholds whereas we already have uh, the oscillator histogram starting to have a, a nice clean a daily candle close right below that zero line threshold which could ultimately have a uh, potential impact on the next underlining Next underlying trend here, whereas you had uh, that first candle, red candle close here, that was good for a 21% crash, whereas you had your first candle close here, and that was good for a 14, 15 double digit percent crash. You had your first candle close here as well. That was good, great looking trend here where the histogram oscillator has just continued to construct and, and predict its next underlying move for a good for a 28% crash, uh, whereas your first candle here. Again, that was good for a 7.8% crash. So we'll see what happens. Not everything's guaranteed, but again, it just uh, raises the odds uh, a lot more significantly uh, for a move to the downside. Taking you out to Airbnb, uh, again, another aggressive entry short. There's not a whole ton of opportunity out there where I'm going to set some stops and uh, have a um, aggressive short trade set up on both of these stocks. I will be gone for the next three days and I won't be back till Monday or Tuesday. I'll be gone on a mini vacation and I will only uh, come back to find out whether I've been stopped out or not. So here we are quickly on the weekly interval, a, a reactionary high downtrend line off the December 2021 reactionary highs. Again, nice, clean, reactionary uh, highs across the board. And we've been back testing it that last uh, week there. And we uh, completely back tested it one last time here uh, in the week of the last week of June here and was rejected pretty impulsively here. And whereas I believe this to be of a lot more significance is zoomed into the hourly interval. As crazy as may look, as uh, wild as it may seem, we have this primary concealed reactionary uh, uptrend line off the 20, call it the 20, May 23rd reactionary lows, uh, cuts through multiple reactionary highs and lows. Again, just a, a lot of, all the way, uh, weeding its way through wicks and, and reaction, uh, alternative reactionary lows across the board. And we snap that level. We snap that level. Put in a, uh, this is what I would call a, a pretty well-defined sell signal below the 50 exponential hourly moving average. And, and again, I would only suspect uh, uh, some moves to be hit down here. Uh, I'll call it uh, down to 122.84 for 1.6% drop. If we get that back test, if we end up having a nice counter trend rally up to the upside, testing this primary reactionary concealed uptrend line, if not the primary downtrend line off the off the weekly interval there again would also add an additional and on uh, uh, add on to your existing short position with some setting some stops up above at least uh, back to that reactionary high there uh, if you get a nice clean setup 
down to 122.84 for a 4% crash. I'll give you another level right, right amongst the gap, top of the gap here. Uh, call it 118.94, which will coincide with the 200 hourly moving average for a 7.2% crash down to 116.10 for a 9.5% crash will be a complete backfill of the gap there. And then ultimately down, if we take that level out, I would only suspect a, a pretty large, uh, big wave of selling down to 112.32 uh, for a 1237, 12.3% crash. So we'll see what happens. These are two uh, objective sh uh, short trade positions. And again, if you're a long-term investor, this is where you're going to average down. This is where you're going to buy up. And if you're a firm believer in Airbnb in the long term and you don't believe Airbnb will be gone 10, 20, 30 years out, uh, again, these are your uh, uh, nice, clean, uh, and I'll set some set some new levels when I come back. But again, these are some nice key levels to watch and to dollar cost average down into if you're a long-term believer in, in the stock with, again, just larger divergences that have continued to construct and establish here uh, going back since uh, early May here of 2023, really amongst all uh, three technical momentum indicators uh, with already a, 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 a an undercut of the zero-line thresholds on the moving average divergence here. And I would only suspect uh, even near-term divergences that just continue to construct here and uh, and a potential big wave of selling is due if we get that pullback and maybe we could have a, a nice counter trend rally, as I said, which would even look like a, take away the lines here, it could even look like a head and shoulder looking top, whereas you get that right shoulder, maybe a consolidation period, and then ultimately snap this uh, neckline here, which is uh, which would be the 122.84 price support. Um, and then I would only suspect a, a much, much larger wave, uh, again, where gaps must be filled and bull traders and or long traders uh, having a, a pretty extreme rush for the exits.